I have the best new free video editing app that you'll wanna see. It's available for both Android and iOS users, and you can remove the watermark for free. That's right, for free, and you don't have to do anything crazy to do it. It's just a simple switch, and the watermark is gone. You ask for it, here you go. This is the app that so many of you have been asking me for, and it's great for social media editing, or if you're a beginner editor getting started on YouTube, and it's also great for TikTok. And I know everyone's on TikTok. I'm not on TikTok. Now the app I'm talking about today is called Prism Live Studio. And you've probably heard me talk about this app before if you're a subscriber to my channel. I made a previous video on this app showing you how to live stream with this app if you have under 1000 subscribers or over 1000 subscribers. It's a fantastic streaming app. But today we're gonna cover the video editing feature in the app, which is really easy to use. And I'm gonna walk you through the entire process. Now, before I show you how to use this, I do wanna say that today's video is sponsored by Prism Live Studio. And to download the app, head down to my description down under underneath this video. I have links for Android, iOS users, and PC users. So make sure you put the app in and follow along if you don't have it already. Now let's open up Prism Live Studio and let me show you how to edit with it. The first thing you wanna do when you open Prism Live Studio is sign in. But once you sign in, you wanna go up to the top right hand corner and tap on your profile icon. Once you tap on your profile icon, Next to your name, you're gonna see a little gear icon. This is the settings icon, tap on that. Once you tap on the settings icon and the next page loads up, you wanna scroll down until you see conceal watermark and then turn that on. Once you've toggled this on, simply tap on the X on the top right hand corner, then tap on the X once again, and it's gonna take you to the main page. And you can see right here, I'm on video. But if I go to the left, it's gonna to go to live. And if I go to the right, it's gonna to go to photo. Now, I made a previous video on Prism Live Studio where I show you how to live stream with this app and I go through the entire process. I'm gonna put a link to that down in the description below. But for this tutorial, we're gonna focus on video. So tap back on video. Now this app also doubles as a camera. If you wanna use that, simply tap on the record button right here in the center and it's gonna start recording. And like every other camera, when you want to stop, simply tap on stop, but I don't want to use that for this tutorial. I want to use my own content, so I'm going to back out of that. In order to get to the clips that I want to use, I'm going to tap right over here, and I'm going to go into my gallery and choose the video clips that I want to pull into my timeline. I'm going to select those two and hit add. Now, it doesn't matter how many clips you select, you're only going to see one in this particular area right here, but once it loads up, tap on edit up in the top right-hand corner. After you tap on edit, you're gonna see that the clips have loaded up right into the video timeline and that's exactly where you want them to go. Now, the first thing you'll notice is if you tap on the actual video clip itself, it's going to turn yellow. This does the same thing if you were to tap on the scissor icon down in the bottom left-hand side. This is where you cut your actual clips or trim them down. And the way you wanna make your cut is you wanna scrub along, you wanna press and hold and move along until you find a place that you wanna cut the clip. And then you wanna tap the cut icon, which is right here. After you tap on the cut icon, you wanna delete whatever clip that you wanna get rid of. So I wanna keep this part, and I wanna get rid of this part here in the beginning. So I wanna make sure that this clip is highlighted in yellow, then I'm gonna tap the delete icon. The next thing I'm gonna do is cut the end of this. So I'm gonna scrub along once again, and go right there, and I'm gonna cut it once again, and then I'm gonna delete everything after. And now what I have is a smooth transition that's gonna take me from that beginning sequence into where I start talking. If you're just getting started as a video editor, here's one tip I can give All right, so you get the idea of how the cutting actually works. Now that wasn't perfect, and I would probably wanna get in there and fine tune it, but you get the idea. Once you've made all of your cuts and you're happy with your clip, tap on this yellow check mark in the bottom right-hand corner. After you tap on the check mark, you're gonna notice that there's an icon now between those clips. If you tap on that icon, it's gonna open up the transition area. And this is where you can add various transitions to your video. For example, if I wanna do a dissolve, I tap on that and I hit the yellow check, and then we're gonna play it back. If you're just getting started as a video editor. And it makes that dissolve transition. You can go back and edit it by simply tapping on it and you can tap on it again and you can choose how long you want that transition to be. You can increase or decrease the time, but I'm gonna back out of this and I'm gonna remove the transition because I'm not interested in that. So I'm gonna tap on none, then I'm gonna tap on this yellow check mark on the bottom right hand side again. Pretty much after you make any adjustment, you wanna tap on this yellow check mark on the bottom right hand side. Now at any time, if you wanna add more clips to your timeline, simply tap on this yellow box over here with the black plus in it, and it's gonna allow you to go back in and add more videos. Now I'm not gonna add more, but that's where you do it if that's what you wanna do. 
The next thing I want you to look at is down on the bottom to the right of the scissors, and this is the crop and ratio. So if I tap on that, you can change the ratio. So for example, if you want to upload something in a vertical format, say you wanna upload something to TikTok or you wanna upload something to Instagram stories, you can tap on nine by 16 and it's going to change the ratio. After it changes the ratio, you can pinch and zoom and move your footage around to fill in the actual video. Now, you do need to do this clip by clip. This isn't going to work if you just put it on one clip. So you'll have to go through clip by clip if you change the ratio. But I'm not gonna do that for this tutorial, so I'm going to back out of that. Next to that is the background feature. If you tap on that, it's gonna allow you to add a colored background or some sort of an image in the background. So if I wanna add a yellow border, I can tap on yellow and I can pinch and zoom and it's gonna add a little bit of a yellow border. And as you can see, you can make that as large as you want. You also have the option to tap on one of the other screen grabs that they're showing here in the bottom if you wanna do something creative with it like that. You can see it's adding kind of like a picture in a picture. But again, I'm not gonna do that, so I'm gonna back out. Next to that is your transitions again. We've already covered that, so you can scroll through there and see the different transitions that you have. And then next to that would be your filters. I know you've used filters before. You can use them in Instagram and lots of other social media apps. You can go through and find the filter that makes the footage look the way you want it to look. And you can adjust the strength of the filter by double tapping on it and just adjusting it by sliding it left and right. I like that one. Next to that are the speed controls. If you tap on the speed controls, you have the option to speed a clip up slow a clip down just a little bit or play it in reverse. So for this first clip right here, I wanna speed it up double time. So I tap on two times and it's gonna move a little bit faster. If I wanna go three times, it's gonna spin a little bit faster. And if I wanna keep that, I tap on the yellow check mark. The speed feature will work really cool if you're trying to shoot B-roll and maybe you wanna slow it down or you wanna speed up a clip to do some sort of a ramping effect. Next to the speed controls is where you'll find music. If you tap on that and then tap on music again, it's gonna open up the library of music that's inside of Prism Live Studio. Now, these are royalty-free tracks. Prism Live Studio does allow you to use them on your YouTube videos or wherever you're going to use this app. You're not gonna have any copyright issues using these tracks. Now, if you already have tracks on your device, let's say you get tracks from the YouTube audio library, you can choose those tracks by tapping on your device and then pulling them in that way. But for this tutorial, we're gonna go through the library inside of Prism Live Studio. You see they have playful action, beat drop, sentimental, or retro. I'm gonna choose something in retro. So I'm gonna hit retro, I'm gonna choose boogie sticks. Then I'm gonna hit add up in the top right hand corner and it's gonna add the music to my timeline. Now the first thing you'll notice is that the music is too loud but we're gonna fix that in just a second. But first let me play it. One tip I can give you to help make a better video and that's the ch All right, the music is clearly too loud here. So what I wanna do is I wanna hit the check mark and then I wanna scroll over down here at the bottom then I'm gonna hit on the volume icon. And this is where I can turn the music down and I can turn my vocals up. Trim the fat out of your video. Remove anything. Turn this up just a little bit more. Thing in the video that slows down the video that could possibly cause the viewer to lose interest. Think about. All right, I like that. That's a good balance. Now tap on that yellow check mark and let's go on to the next feature. Next to the audio levels would be effects. And these are pretty cool and I like the way they work. Let's say you find a place that you wanna add an effect. All you have to do is hold that effect down for the duration that you want it to show. So for example, if I want this first effect to show up, I press and I hold and it's gonna print that onto the video. So let's do that. And that's to trim the fat out of your video. So let me back up here and you can see here on the screen, there's now a yellow area on the timeline. That's where that effect is taking place. So if I hit play. Make a better video. And that's to trim the fat out of your video. It's adding that effect right away. Now you can do this with all of the effects down here at the bottom. So you can get really creative with this. Now once you've added your effects, again, tap on the yellow check mark and you'll notice that there's new icons up here in the timeline. These icons are your effects. So you can go in and you can delete them so if I tap on one and I wanna get rid of it, I simply tap on it and delete, and I can add a new one. Tap the yellow check mark again and it's gone. Now next to the effects, you're gonna see a little hand icon. If you tap on that, it's gonna allow you to add a sticker to your video. So if we look through the stickers here, let's see if there's anything that we want. Let's say you wanna hit subscribe. So what you do is you find a place in your timeline where you want it to show, then you tap on the sticker you wanna use, and then you tap on the screen. And it's gonna add it to your screen. And again, you see the little yellow area in the timeline, that's where the sticker was added. Pretty cool, huh? 
Moving to the right once again, you're gonna see this little squiggly line and this is for all of you who are artists and I clearly am not. So open up the drawing feature and it's gonna turn your video sideways. Now for this tutorial and the way I have it laid out on the screen so you can watch it, I'm not gonna turn the phone around, but it does spin everything around on your phone so you can draw. And the way this works is over here in the far left, you have the type of brush that you can use. Next to that, you have the brush size and then you have the colors that you can use. So if I tap something blue and I tap some sort of a glow, I can come in here and I can draw. If you're happy with that, hit done up in the top right hand corner. If you're not, hit delete, or you can just hit cancel up in the top left hand corner. Next to that would be text, and this is pretty self-explanatory. Tap on text, add whatever you want. Hello. You can change the font, you can change the size, and you can change the color. You can also pinch and zoom and you can move it around. You can twist it and you can turn it and put it wherever you want. When you're finished doing that, tap on the yellow check mark once again. Now, once you have everything edited and you're ready to export, what you wanna do is tap on save in the top right hand corner and then look down on the bottom left, you're gonna see the option to save. Tap on save and you can see that it started encoding right away, but you can also change your resolution. If for some reason it's showing anything less than 1080p, you can tap on that and go in and change your resolution. But I'm gonna back out here and I'm gonna start this process once again. Now the video is encoded and it's saved to your gallery and if you've concealed the watermark, you're not gonna have a watermark on this video. So have fun with that and enjoy using Prism Live Studio as a video editor. If you wanna learn even more about Prism Live Studio, tap on this video right here and learn how to live stream with it. I walk you through the entire process. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.